Howdy folks, my name is Gizmo. Today I'll be showing you how to build an actual password door. One that uses a password or a sequence of items as the password. This works in Bedrock and in Java Edition. It takes about six seconds to process the password and we can actually have individual letters um, show whether or not they're correct. So if I put in the correct answer, notice how that actually stacks with itself so we can use uh, multiple items of the same kind. It was correct. We get our precious lever, which is safely behind the vault door. Uh, this is the actual circuit. You'll notice that um, it's pretty big. It's not intended for survival, but it's feasible in survival. Um, it, I, I would imagine it to be more uh, for puzzle maps, but I will only be talking about this part, um, the password checker and the input. I will not be talking about the extras, a failure jingle and a success jingle. Um, the individual lines for the outputs I will also not be doing because they're a pain. So in Bedrock Edition, if we have a rainbow and we shuffle it through a hopper line, we don't actually necessarily get a rainbow. And in this case, we actually really didn't get a rainbow. Um, so we can solve this by alternating hopper, chest, hopper, chest, hopper, chest, and um, having a circuit at the bottom so that we can trigger this dropper as soon as an item shows up so that we can get the items in order. Um, so once they're in the dropper, we can actually nudge them along so that we end up with each of the items in their specific place. Uh, and then after that, we can have item filters check whether or not those positions are correct. So they all get nudged along, the item filters unlock, and then we can check whether or not that position is correct. They were all on, so that means they were correct. And once we have the item filters um, all unlocked, we can actually have an output and and whether or not um, they were all on at the same time. Um, this over here is the full circuit. Um, it solves a problem that this one has. Basically, if we put in our password and it was incorrect, the incorrect password entries or the, the letters are still there and so we need to flush the system. This actually does so. could have made it faster, but um, I wanted it to only click a certain number of times. So, yep, this is the full circuit. And we get our individual output. So yeah, 